Thank All right. Sorry. All right. Test drive in Arivian. Is this yours? This is my personal vehicle. Oh, Tell me wow. about it. Um, so I've had it for two weeks now. Wow. Um, I've done a little over 2,000 miles on it. Um, they had it available in Dallas. And uh, of course, the fact that I live in Houston meant that I needed to go and uh, grab it. Oh, wow. Did you have a reservation? I did. I had yeah. three years, four months, one day. Wow. Not that I was counting or anything. <laughs> uh, right. Wow. So, once upon a time in the... Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I was saying, once upon a time, there used to be a company called Tesla, but not anymore. <laughs> Wow. So it's uh, it's super responsive, super uh, agile. Um, so again, keep in mind this is a roll and go at twenty. Whoa! Whoa. That's fast. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. So it is every single bit of that zero to sixty in two point eight seconds. Um, <laughs> for for the stat nerds of, amongst us, uh, seven thousand five hundred and fifteen pounds. Um, quad motor, 900 horsepower, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, we all know that, it's electric. Um, full air ride suspension, so if I actually put it into all-purpose mode here, um, so at this point it's going to air up the suspension all the way around, um, and you're going to feel the difference now from back there to the way that it drives now. Oh, yeah. It's just so stable yeah. that it's just perfect. Feels um, a lot better. <laughs> but even then, still, 60 mile an hour, Oh, I can still put people in the back of the seat. Oh, yeah. but that was so much more graceful. So that's oh, wow. That was 100 miles an hour. Oh, wow. Nobody even thought. And you've driven yeah. 4,000 miles, you said? Uh, 2,000 miles. Oh, 2,000. That's yeah. a lot, though, yeah. What's your name? Robert. Robert. Wow. This is awesome. So why Rivian? So why Rivian? Uh, four years ago, I needed a, a, a new vehicle. Um, and uh, I knew that electric was the only way that I wanted to go. I know I didn't want anything else. Um, and uh, Rivian released it at the, uh, the uh, LA Auto Show there in 2018. And I said, you know what? That's what I want. Um, and then they said, you know, sometime around 2020 it would be available. Then the whole world went to hell in a handbasket with COVID. Mm -hmm. And um, now here we are, 2022. But this truck is actually about to go on a six and a half thousand mile adventure of its own. Wow. Um, so I actually got a new job up in Denver. So okay. I'm actually going to be moving my whole entire life from Houston, Texas to Denver. Wow. Um, in a week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so. That's a perfect place for this truck, Denver. Exactly. Um, so one of the other great things about it, so. Two lanes, perfect oh, steering wow. lock to steering lock. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Wow. <laughs> and how about, uh, have you had to have any service or anything yet or not um, yet? I have had no service on it so far. Um, I do have it scheduled to go to a service um, in Den uh, Denver when I get there. Okay. Um, there's a very, very small paint chip up at the front and they actually wanted to hold production mm -hmm. and not give it to me until they fixed that paint job. And I said, you know what? <laughs> Just give it to me. I'll take it. I'll Wait. deal with the paint job. And they yeah. said, are you sure? And I was like, yep, yeah, absolutely sure. Um, they said, right, well, we'll get you into Denver and we'll get you a paint correction when, when you get to Denver. Yeah. I was like, fine. By that point, I'm going to have, uh, oh, I don't know, about 6,000 miles on it by that point. <laughs> so go right ahead. <laughs> there'll, yeah. there'll be a few more at that point, probably. Did you so, have a Tesla before this ever? No, or? I had a Mach-E before this. Okay. Mm. Um, and I will say it's a night and day difference between Mach-E to this. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. But I also have a Archimoto Fav. Um, okay. that I drive around Houston. I've done about 7,000 miles on that. Wow, um, so I've, I've done I've done the electric routes um, and I also built two electric motorcycles. Oh, wow. um, so I'm familiar with, with how how great Tesla, uh, the, the, the electric drivetrain is. Okay. So, but I mean, this is how stable it is. We're doing 65 around this corner yeah. and there's almost no body roll whatsoever. I was going to say, it. this feels like our Model 3 performance. Like, no yeah. roll at all. It's a great product. Yes, but your Model 3 can't do this. <laughs> no, no, it can't. No, it can't. Especially going through a corner like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Nah. And oh. for, for, you know, there's no step out on the rear. I mean, yeah. it just sits planted perfectly. Um, so, it's great. I love it. This is epic. I love it. And charging, uh, have you char you charge it at home probably most of the time. But I charge it at home most of the time, um, but actually, funny story, coming up here, 
Yeah. Um, so I came from Houston, and uh, I left my house with 84 miles of range. Okay. Knowing damn well that I needed a charge. Yeah. What I didn't realize, by the time I left Waller, um, yeah. it was 60 miles from the stop that I was at to um, uh, the charger, and it was a... Um, uh, 50 miles uh, total distance. Okay. So I, I was cutting it within five miles of my overall. Oh, wow. uh, so you made it okay? Yep, made it just fine. Do they have extra mileage in the when it goes to zero? Is there like an extra 10 miles built in? Supposedly, there's an extra. So, what do you, so what do you think of it? Okay. Wow, impressive drive. Yeah. Yeah, my question is. Can it drive itself then? No, not yet. <laughs> not, yet. <laughs> not yet. But I will say, all the cameras on it and all the, the lane detection, yeah. it's there. You put the okay. the, the self-drive on it and it will totally just drive its, it. It it knows that something's there. It right. just doesn't know what to do with it yet. Right, right. Um, and so yeah, I think really that cool. that's coming very quickly on an over-the-air update. I do not think that that's going to be too long down the road. Okay, does that um, tonneau cover? Like, yeah, so, so the tonneau comes, comes back. Emmett, what did you think? I thought it was pretty impressive. I mean, I think it's a nice product for sure. Yeah. It's it's like what Elon was saying, though, can Rivian build the product that makes the product? I don't know, the factory. Uh, you know, it's a good product, but it, it can sell. They can build a lot of them, but it's expensive. But it's nice, really nice to ride. Well, the LA came up with like 3000 What did you think, Ellie? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was great. Yeah. It was, uh, it was, that was a lot of speed. Yeah, um, that was speed. It was fast. Yeah. Yep. It felt like... Yeah. First drive in a Tesla again. Sorry. Yes, yes. And this is my personal truck. <laughs> yeah. Big wheels. Yeah. And non employee owner. Yep. Wow. I The frunk. Wow. Big. Yeah. But then, you know, if you happen to have store extra bodies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I go in there? <laughs> uh, now that's a frunk. You yep. want me to close it? Go right ahead. No. His head, you're going to move your head. No, 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 no. No, I'm not going to latch it. <laughs> Well, oh, I actually push. have an escapement here. Oh, yeah. oh you can just self escape. Oh, it's a dog. Just push. Yep. And you're not a small guy. No. Did you get a picture, Chris, of him in there? Can I go in there? Yeah, sure. We'll take a picture of the dog. There you go. Alien space in the Rivian. The Rivian RT1, right? A little bit. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> Bye, Ellie. <laughs> nice. How are you filming it? <laughs> oh, come out. Yeah. Uh, How was it? That was awesome. That's a lot of room. Yep. So, how were you able to get your hands on one of these? Um, I ordered mine four years ago. Wow. Ten volts. Yep. The, the rest of that. So yeah. have the space underneath the back seat? Or yeah. Is battery there? So this is. So that goes all the way back. More storage. Well, he's the one who's. So. Like, so Robert called me a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, no, I, I was a day one holder. Wow. Uh, from what we can figure, I was order number 109 wow. of the public version. Wow. Um, and delivery version, I was 2,208. Wow. Um, I got VIN number 2286. Nice. So that's what we've been able to figure based on everyone else's, you know, uh, settings and everyone else's, you know, order status. That's what we've kind of figured out is, is the kind of going way so about it. So is everyone stopping you to talk about it everywhere oh, yeah. you go? <laughs> yeah, you can't get away from I, I, I can't go anywhere. Um, I was at a EA charging station actually just here. Um, wow. And I took on a full 115 kilowatts of power that I needed. And I think I spoke the whole entire 30 minutes that I was charging. Oh my so it's... Everyone wants it. Everyone wants to look at them. I mean, yeah. but the thing is, they are good looking trucks. They're, yeah. they're not just, you know, I, I know this is Tesla and I know this is, this is the Tesla community, but Tesla's QA and their fit and finish leave a lot to be desired. 
And Rivian has seen that and they're like, you know what? We're gonna spend the time on it and we're actually gonna make sure that we actually get it right. Um, and that's one thing they've done really well is they've got the fit and finish perfect. Yeah. Everything is fit and finish perfectly in place. Um, you know, down to the little details, you know. The... So on the gear tunnel here, and I'll move out of the way so you can get it. So on the latch there, you'll see there's a little Rivian logo. They didn't need to put that on there. Right. But you, you've got, you know, you got that. Up on the charging pad, um, you've got all the Rivian logos embedded in it. Um, you know, the, 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 the multi-sound uh, Meridian sound speaker. That's, it's just incredible. Wow. Oh my God.